y'all. Good morning. Um, today is, you know, I'm not even sure. I think it might be the 30th. It could be the 29th. I really don't know. I'm like so confused on my days. It is Monday though. I know that much. It is the Monday after Christmas before New Year's. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So today's the 30th. Um, I'm back from Louisiana where I spent Christmas with my boyfriend and his family. We had an amazing time. Seriously, the best. Like, we ate and we drank and we laughed and we relaxed. We were busy. Like, it was a lot of stuff and it was really, really fun. We saw um, a football game. We went to the Independence Bowl, which is, uh, Louis it was Louisiana Tech versus, like, Miami. Um, we saw that. We saw a hockey game. We watched um, LSU beat the crap out of um, OU at the Georgia Bowl. The Georgia Bowl. The Peach Bowl or whatever it's called in Georgia. Um, craziness. We watched that at a bar with a big... We had this table reserved um, right in front of this like projector like wall. It was awesome. So we watched that. We ate so much good food. They do sort of like Cajun menu for um, like a Cajun spin on like typical like Thanksgiving and Christmas food. Um, so we had a turkey with this amazing like brown gravy, um, twice baked potatoes stuffed with uh, like they're cheesy, but they also had crab in them. And then um, this rice dressing that Morgan makes so good. It's like wild rice and I think jasmine rice maybe. It's like a blend, I can't remember. Um, like three different peppers, like, you know, green, yellow, orange, or whatever, red, orange, yellow, I don't know. Um, onion, tons of seasoning, and crawfish, like little bites, pieces of it. Freaking delish. I'm. We're thinking about making that a cooking for two video because holy moly, it's so good. Like, I was dying. It's amazing. So we had that. Um, just tons of delish food. It was amazing. We had a great time. I get along with his mom really well. This was the first time meeting his sister. We got along really well. She's hilarious. Just like, um, they all are. They just have like this like next level of, um, like, I don't know. They're just so funny. Like, I don't know how to explain it because like y'all don't get to see them, but they are so funny. Like the way they tell stories, everything is funny. Like, I don't know. We just had a great time though. It was awesome. Um, he loved the gifts. I got him the um, the frames that you hang on the wall. He's uh, really excited about those. We're going to kind of figure out where to put them all. Um, and then uh, the mug, the fetch this mug was hilarious. He was dying over it. Like, everyone thought it was so funny. He, like, was like, this is too perfect. So, that worked out good. Um, I made out like a bandit with my gifts, you guys. I couldn't even believe. So, he got me some Kinder Scott he got me this Kinder Scott necklace. It has the rose gold chain. And I have another small Kinder like this. But it, I've had it for years. And it's just the gold chain. And it is really worn. Like, the chain looks uh, like it's bad. Because I've had it forever. And it just is, you know, it's just faded a lot. So, this is like the perfect... I'm obsessed. And he got me matching earrings. And they're the, the little small ones. So, when I wear scarves... I meant to find them this morning, but I couldn't... Um, find them. I, they're in like my jewelry bag and I don't know if it ended up in my suitcase or what, but I didn't have time to look for it. Um, so yeah, he got me some Kendra and then, um, he got me a Roomba, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting at all. And I'm so excited. I asked for a Roomba for my birthday from my parents originally. Um, and then I was talking to my sister. She was like, no, like, tell mom you don't want that. You can have my old one because I hate it and you're going to hate it too, so don't waste your money. And I was like, oh, okay. So, my sister was going to give me her old one. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. So, I just told my mom, never mind on the Roomba. Um, but since then, I've heard a lot of people love it. So, I think it just kind of depends, you know, either you love it or you hate it. And a lot of people said it took me a long time to get used to it. But now, I love it. Like, it's the best. So... He knew that I really wanted one. I still had one in my Amazon cart. I just hadn't bought it yet. Um, and he surprised me with it. Never said a word about it. So 
I'm freaking pumped. I can't wait to get that baby up and running. I think tomorrow I might get off work early, so I'll do like a half day. So I'll probably work on it tomorrow um, and get it all set up and get the app and all of that stuff. So I'm so excited about that. What a sweetie. Um, his mom got me this gorgeous picture frame um, and put a picture of the two of us in there. And I got this amazing candle. Like, it's massive. It's like the biggest candle I've ever seen. I'll show you guys later. Um, I got a blanket. I got a t-shirt. Tons of stuff. I, they just spoiled me. Um, and we just had the best time. Seriously, me and Morgan had the best time together. It was a great weekend. The drive back yesterday wasn't bad at all. Um, and yeah, it was great. It was great. We Also, we ate so much food, you guys. Like, we felt sick half the time we were there like just so bloated it was painful it was just a lot of food and we, we were having the best time there but we are both you know excited to get back and kind of back into the swing of our regular you know daily lives um I guess <laughs> I haven't weighed and I don't think I'm going to um, I know that I have gained weight. Like I can tell, I, I knew before we left town that I had gained weight because I basically celebrated my birthday for like a whole week and didn't care, hardly tracked. Like I made like a good lunch, but then my dinners were kind of everywhere. I was eating candy at work, like, ugh. so I could feel like my body, I just felt heavy. I didn't feel like lean at all when I was waking up in the mornings. Um, and yeah, I just kind of felt like, ugh, you know, kind of like when you eat a lot of crap, you just feel like crap. That's how I felt already when we left town. And then I continued to eat crap the whole time we were gone. And now I can see it in the mirror. Um, obviously, you're always like the first person to notice those changes about yourself. But I can see it. I can tell that I have put on a little bit of weight. And so I'm just not going to get on the scale. Like, why? Why do that to yourself? I was thinking, oh, it would be good to be like, okay, this is my holiday gain you know, how long does it take me to lose it? Um, like for a YouTube video. But then I was like, okay, don't, um, lose your peace over a maybe good YouTube video. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that to myself. Like, I don't want to get on the scale. I don't want to see that number because I know it's going to be up. And even though I know it, I still don't want to see it. So yeah, I'm just not going to get on the scale until I'm feeling better. I'm going to start eating better, and then once I kind of feel back to a good place, I'll get on the scale, and we'll see where we're at, and the goal of the year is to reach bowl, which I definitely could have reached last year. I just was doing a great job at maintaining most of the second half of the year. Um, if I can get back to where I was before the holiday, 153, I'm under 10 pounds away from the original goal that I set three years ago on my weight loss journey when I was, you know, 215 plus pounds. Um, and so that really is just more of a, like I, it's 145 because it's always been 145. I don't care so much. I just want to look a certain way in the mirror. Um, and I still feel like I have more to lose, but not a ton more, but you know, there's some, at least toning there's, you know, there's some that can be done, but, um, I don't want to stress too much about it. I know that I can do it. And um, yeah, we're just going to work hard in January. Try to eat stuff that is good for me, makes me feel good. Maybe try some new recipes. So it will be good. Also in January, me and Georgina, and I think Tara is also joining us. We're doing a no spend month, which is where you only spend monies on monies. You only spend money on rent, like bills, gas, obviously, gro like necessary groceries, things that you actually need from the store. Um, and you just don't spend money on anything else. You don't go shopping. You don't go to Amazon. You don't get stuff off home, like at Home Goods. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. And it's going to be great for the bank account. So, I am headed into work. We'll see a little footage of what I eat today and maybe we'll chat later. I'll show you that candle that I got because it's amazing. But yeah, chat in a little bit. Hey 
also, I just got in the car from the HEB run. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick grocery haul. Okay, so I picked up another box of the cinnamon coffee cake um, fiber one bars, the 70 calories. These are two points on any Weight Watcher plan that you follow, and they're only 70 calories. And then they also had the chocolate and pretzel ones, chocolate, caramel, and pretzel bars. I love these. They didn't have them the last time I went to the store, so I picked up those as well. Um, so for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to do like a burrito bowl situation with like some brown rice and those blackened tenders and a zucchini and black beans. So I picked up a zucchini. And I picked up black beans, which must be in a different bag. Um, they didn't have the salsa that I like, which is the Julio's Mild. It's in like the cold section. Then I was going to go get the On the Border salsa because I haven't had that in a long time. And I love the On the Border salsa. Didn't have that either. So I picked up this one, Clint's. I think I've had it before. I can't remember. But I picked up that. Um, some cherry tomatoes. I love the champagne ones. Bolt House Farms Ranch. This one I'll just keep at work because I know I have a full one at um, home already. And then I picked up some of these sugar-free puddings, the swirl ones. Those are 60 calories and two points. I'm going to just keep those at work. Four. Let's crank this AC up. It is hot in here, you guys. Okay. For my salads, I picked up two of just the classic romaine. And then one of this like garden salad. I think it's just like iceberg. Yeah, iceberg, cabbage, and lettuce. I mean, and carrots. And then two of these chicken breast fajitas. They're already like cooked. They're in the refrigerated. You just microwave them or put them in a skillet. You can eat them cold if you want. I just prefer them hot. So I'm gonna dump those on my salads as well. And then, oh yeah, here are the black beans. I just get the store brand, no salt. And then I picked up these potatoes. These are the ones that me and Morgan are obsessed with. They're roasting, it's like a roasting kit. You can use the olive oil thing it comes with. We never do, we just do our own thing. Um, but I love, they're like the fingerling potatoes sort of, like long and skinny. Um, there's like a mix of red, purple, and then just like the white obsessed with these and we love to make these with the tilapia and I think that's what we're going to make for New Year's Eve. We're just staying in. We're going to cook tilapia. We're going to get a bottle of champagne to cheers and we're just going to chill on the couch all night and we're looking forward to it. Um, the only other thing I bought was my sparkling water. I just get the unsweetened. Um, I got the lemon one this time from H-E-B. I thought about getting the Dasani because I really like the Dasani ones but it was like eight of them for $3.50 ish and these I get 12 for like $2.60 so obviously I'm gonna go with those because I drink them like they're going out of style like I'll have multiple in a day so I need a lot so I got that just for work I have a few at home still I think I've got like six at home which should be good I should have probably bought some for Morgan's house but that's fine we should be good to go I'm starving so let's run back to work and I will show you my salad um, whenever I get it put together Okay, y'all, over here we've got Christmas, literally all the Christmas stuff. Well, there's a couple of things I still need to grab, um, but most of the Christmas stuff is right there on the counter. About to put that away. Can you see how, well, you can't really tell, but I cleaned off the table. I still need to hang up those clothes, um, but things are moving right along. I'm starving. I got home early because I had my shot appointment today, which I completely forgot about and luckily remembered like as I needed to leave work. So that worked out great. Um, and I got home early. So it's already 530. I'm trying to hold off on dinner until at least 630. But I think I'm going to have some pickles. Okay, I've got one of these. I need to add pickles to my list. These are just like the spears. I've got one left. So let me add that. Oh. 
Food is running out of ink. Okay. So I'm having a pickle because I, there's zero points. I need a really low point snack because I'm hungry. And I don't have any like other vegetables, really. I have some grapes. I don't know if they're good. I'm gonna check if those are good. Ooh, applesauce. Also zero points. Okay, so I'm gonna have a pickle and then I might have applesauce after. I know that's like a gross combo, but like after. Because I'm so hungry. The first day back is always the hardest. Usually, well, I don't know. Sometimes the first day back is actually easy. Like I feel so motivated. Hence, me having a pickle and not reaching for the Reese's in my fridge or all of the other Christmas goodies that I have laying around. But it definitely, um, oh, goodness. <laughs> it definitely can be hard the first day back just because I've been used to eating so much food, like mass amounts of food every single day that now that I'm cutting it down, it's like my body's like, wait. We like four meals a day, you know, what happened to that? But it's over now. Not that four meals a day is bad, but like huge, massive portions. Yum. So I'm gonna eat this pickle. I'm drinking a carbonated water, which is on the counter. Per usual. Um, and then in about an hour, I'm actually editing right now, watching YouTube and editing, sort of taking a cleaning break. Um, and try to get a video up from some December footage that I filmed, obviously, earlier in December. I'm currently editing a video that just didn't make the Vlogmas cut off because we were leaving town and didn't have time to upload it or edit it at all. So I'm gonna edit that one now. And then this video will be next. And this might be the first video of the new year, I'm not sure. But pickles are so good. If you need a zero point snack that's like not a plain vegetable or fruit, pickles. Okay, y'all, so this is the burrito bowl. I have the cheesy rice down in there. Um, the minute rice that I used does have points even on the purple plan. I'm gonna look more into that and see like what's in there that makes it so high in points. Um, but I knew that going into this meal, I tracked it way earlier in the day, so I knew I was gonna have to spend points there and that's totally fine. Um, I used three of the smaller blackened tenders, so those are zero points, the rice. Um, I think it's like seven. I'll put the points on the screen. Black beans for zero, zucchini for zero, Taco Bell sauce, and some salsa, as well as a sparkling water. Hachi. No, sir. 
Um, my pickle plate is right there and I'm watching Amanda Lewis on YouTube, kind of getting Christmas stuff put away. So that's what I've got going on right now. I was flipping through this looking for a clean page. This is like my catch-all notebook. I don't go in order. I just look for a clean page. And I found this. That is, um, I don't know when I wrote this, but go to recipes for WW. And it has like basically tons of my favorite recipes. So I'm going to kind of add on to this. I was looking for a clean sheet because I had some recipe ideas. So I just want to jot those down right now. Um, and yeah, that's what I've got going on tonight. Trying to get everything cleaned up so I can use my new Roomba. I'm so excited. Hey y'all, so I've still got some laundry going, just blew out the candle, kind of turning stuff off. Um, but I'm about to put in some whitening trays and get in the bath and just relax from today. It's like the first day back after Christmas vacation and your girl needs a bath. So I just need some relaxing, but I wanted to talk to you quickly about the whitening trays that I've been using. Um, I've only used them a couple of times and I've already noticed a difference. I just went on Christmas vacation with my boyfriend, which I'll already know. If you watched my Vlogmas video, we went to Louisiana. And honestly, like thinking back, this is one of the first times in a really long time where I've taken photos and my first thought wasn't, oh, I have to whiten my teeth like via like Facetune um, because I'm so self-conscious about my teeth. I've talked about it before. If you've been a long time subscriber, you've seen it um, or you've heard it in vlogs, especially my chatty car vlogs. I've talked about it once or twice where I just feel like the most like the thing I'm most self-conscious about myself is definitely the color of my teeth I've always felt that way I've got professional whitening done I've tried the crust strips haven't really ever found anything that I felt like I wanted to do or that like there was enough of a change for me to continue to use it um so a company called Smile Brilliant did reach out to me and I don't want to sound like oh a lot of companies reach out to me but I, I do get several emails, probably like one a day, at least one a day from random companies that reach out to me um, who have found me on Instagram or have found my YouTube channel and want me to try their products and review their products. And if you're a longtime viewer of mine, then you know that I pretty much haven't ever talked about any company ever. So I feel like that says a lot <laughs> for this company. Um, and I'm gonna give you all my full honest review. So, Stay tuned because an upcoming video will do a full before and after photos side by side, which not gonna lie, I'm nervous about because the before isn't great. Um, but I have high hopes for my after photo and I've been liking it so far. So let me turn you around really quickly, just give you the quick rundown and we're gonna talk all about it in an upcoming video, I promise. Okay, so basically you get this huge kit with all of this stuff and you send in your impressions, they send you back specific trays made for your teeth, which I love. And then you get these teeth whitening little doodads. Um, so this isn't even one treatment. This is like several, you use very little of this. Put them in your trays, wear them um, anywhere from 45 minutes to like three hours. I've been doing about an hour and it's been working great um, for me, it works with my lifestyle. Like I said, I'm about to hop in the bath. I can talk with these in. I always used to feel like I would like drool with other whitening stuff because it just like, I felt like I was sm uh, swallowing chemicals, but I do not feel like this with this system. I can talk. I talked on the phone with my sister for like an hour and a half the other day with these in. Um, and yeah, so far so good. So I'm excited to share more about it with you, but I'm going to end my night with this. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned if you're interested in the Smile Brilliant Teeth Whitening Kit. It's a custom teeth whitening. And so far, I'm really liking it. But I promise to give you my very honest review, give you all of the dirty details, and let you know exactly my thoughts in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. There's also a special surprise that will be in that video. So stay with me. Um, I'm going to turn in for the night. Thank you guys for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like vlogs, chatty videos, what I eat in a day videos, I would totally appreciate it. And don't forget to comment down below if you'd like to chat with me. Um, that's all I have for today and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.